Okay, it's time for our hands-on challenge. Create an Apex class that writes and reads from the org cache. So the org cache. Okay, let's do this step by step. First step, create a partition called bus schedule, right? With zero megabyte for the size of our cache and session cache, so both zero megabyte. So go and do that in your playground. I'm going to go to setup here. This is my trailhead playground. So I'm gonna go to my cache platform cache we are going to make a new platform cache partition the name would be bus schedule and both it's still zero megabyte we are going to use that so now we have two cache trailhead module the bus schedule that is for our challenge here and let's see what's the next one Create a public Apex class called bus schedule cache. All right, let's go ahead and create our class developer console. And this is from our previous one. I'm going to file new Apex class bus schedule cache. Okay, so this is our class. So the next one, add this variable to the class, private dot cache dot partition uh, part. So we can do that, add this variable to the class. We are going to do that. So flip on here. Tidy it up. I'm going to save this for now. So private cache org partition and we call the uh, variable is part, right? Partition. So the next one in the constructor, create a new instance of cache org partition by passing it the partition name local bus schedule assign this object to the new class variable okay so next we are going to create the constructor public bus ca schedule cache bus schedule cache this is the constructor and we are going to in the constructor create a new instance of cache or partition by passing it the partition name local bus schedule assign this object to the class variable part all right to do that we are going to do it inside here so part equals new like instantiated cache dot org partition like that right and then local dot bus schedule okay that's how we do that now let's save that Houston, we have a problem. Invalid constructor name, bus schedule cache. Why is it invalid? Did I mistype it somehow? Boom. Oh, yeah, I did mistype it. So, yeah, make sure you don't mistype or make a typo that. So, what is the next one we have to do? Um, this is old. I'm going to close my GitHub thing. So the next one is add two public methods. So two methods. The first method 
put schedule. So the first one is put schedule returns void and takes these parameters string, which is bus line, and then the time, which is the schedule. This is an array, right? Okay, so let's do the put schedule first. I'm going to flip back to my developer console. Wait. Um, 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 yeah. Here. So the first method is public void put schedule. Okay. And then what do we put? String bus line and then time is an array. Oops, not that one. Time is an array. And name that schedule. Boom. All right. So let's leave it at that. Let me save that. And the first method is that returns void and takes this parameter. The second method is get schedule returns a bus schedule as a time array time and it takes a parameter string bus line okay so let's leave it at that this is this is going to return void for now right and i'm going to make a new method public time get schedule because it's returning time right string bus line all right it's going to um, return schedule return schedule let's leave it at that for now hmm variable schedule doesn't exist oh yeah we have to declare it here first time schedule equals time part dot get bus line all right Wait, time, I should have done that. Save that. Let's take this out for now. All right, so we have that two methods now. So add two public methods. The first method puts schedule, returns void, and takes these parameters, right? String bus line time schedule. All right? The second one, get schedule, returns a bus schedule as a time array and takes uh, this parameter string bus line. So we've done that. So implement the put schedule method so that it stores the past in values in the or cache by using the partition class variable and then implement the get schedule method so that it returns the schedule for the specific bus line by using the partition class um, variable part and then add logic to the get schedule to handle cache meshes or it's if it's null if, if it's the the value is null right get schedule should return the following default schedule as a time array with two of two time objects one time object value of 8 a.m and another of 5 p.m use the apex time new instance method to create the time objects all right back to our developer console so i'm going to say here if part not equals nas. This is to handle the cache 
misses, right? So if it's not now, part dot put bus line. Oops. Schedule. Okay. So if it's not no, put bus line to the schedule. The key is bus line, the value is schedule. Got it? Save that. Now, on here, we are going to say if schedule is not now, so it has a value, right? We can return schedule here, schedule there, but else, else, we are going to return new list of time. Okay, we're going to make the new instance now, right? Time dot new instance. The first one is 8 a.m. So 8 0 0 0. The second one is time dot new instance 5 p.m. 17 0 0 0 and we are going to close this with a semicolon wait yeah now I'm gonna show you the code there even all of it so this is how it's gonna be finally so if I go flip back to my trailhead, oops, um, my window, trailhead. So we've done that, put schedule and get schedule, and, and we have add the logic as well. And then we use the apex time new instance method to create the time objects. So there you have it. Now I'm going to um, get the points, bada bing. Bada boom. I'll see you on the next module where we talk about big objects. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.